Well, separating the facts from fear on the internet, no easy task, especially when it comes to the coronavirus. And last week, Ashlyn sent us this picture right into the 208 inbox. And maybe you've seen something similar being passed around social media, like, well, I guess a communicable disease. The how well do you wash your hands pictures illustrated by the UV or the black light? So that got us thinking, how thorough a scrubbing do you need to keep from spreading viruses? Well, to find out, we went to see Dr. Cynthia Curl at Boise State University. She's an assistant professor in the Department of Community and Environmental Health and fittingly is teaching a class this semester on epidemiology. So what's the best way to handle the hand to hand battle when it comes to combating the coronavirus? Just on our way to BSU, we handled door handles, car handles, our phone, a parking meter, more doors, elevator buttons twice, and finally, Dr. Cynthia Curl's hand reluctantly. We touch a lot of stuff. We touch our faces all the time. We touch the door handles. We touch everything all day. Which is why it's important to get that stuff off our hands to keep from passing it around. It is really important to wash your hands more often than you think. And more thoroughly than you think. To show why, we're going to use this stuff called glow germ oil. They call it simulated germs. And it glows under UV light. Okay, you don't need that much. You don't need that much. Just like with germs. That's probably going to do it. And they okay. just go everywhere with it? Yep, just spread it around. Oh, I see. Okay. So now it's as if you've touched lots of stuff okay. on the way here. Which I did. Now let's take a look at these hands and you can kind of see. You can see. Ah, yeah, How so they get in all the cracks of your hands, that reddish orange color. Um, so you can definitely see how we don't think as much about how germs get in those crevices. So if you turn your hands over, you can see it on the back as well. So that handshake from earlier. And then when we do our handshake. The oil shows where the germs rubbed off on Dr. Curl's hand. Can you see on mine? All these places and I had nothing. So right here is one. And then yep. if you turn the palm over, you can see it right there as well. A simple wash would take care of that, right? All right, let's see how I did. Here's how it looks after about five seconds. Your wrist. Look at that. Right here. Yeah. Okay, in some of those cracks. Still in I some don't of those cracks. Can, right here, that's where you don't wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and in the crooks of my palm there, you can see that there are still germs that are there. How about a proper wash? You want to make a lather, but more than anything, you want to be sure that you are creating enough friction to get the germs into the lather so that it can wash off. And not just the palms. You want to get the backs of your hands, both of them. You want to get in between your fingers. You want to get around your thumbs, in the nail bed, and don't forget your wrists. I think that's a common one that people forget. And then you want to rinse really well. You want that whole process to take at least 20 seconds. So people are saying, sing happy birthday twice, sing the ABCs slowly. Let's let's check it out. Still some in the cracks, isn't there? A little bit in the cracks, deep but definitely better than last time. Your wrist looks better. Yep. You don't have all of that. You don't have, I don't see anything on the backs here. Wow. Just goes to show how hard it is to wash our hands well and how much we have to think about that. True. A lot of places for those germs to hide. Well, Dr. Curl reiterated what the CDC says that hand washing, proper, full lather, 20 second scrubbing, that's preferred, but any alcohol based hand sanitizer will work against the coronavirus.